I'm starting a series now talking about oneness. What is oneness? And especially with everything that's going on in the world about, you know, election interferences, duality, it means like parties, all kinds of emotions, uh, fear, whatever people experience, right? You just go on the news, it's always like this stuff will happen, that stuff. Or, and we all have our personal fears about things. What is oneness? For me, personally, it just means to feel interconnected and truthfully believe that we're all living in one kind of universe and you know our atoms are kind of replacing each other maybe you know every few years we're entirely replaced obviously we carry a similar patterns so or very <laughs> same patterns sometimes with us and it's really hard to overcome those patterns and thought processes and stuff but i believe in the end oneness and living oneness means that i feel that i am you and you are me in a way but i also know and believe that i also have a perception that creates its own reality but that in its most truthful way is sort of an illusion and one of the four agreements right like on the whoever read that book or just in general from like vipassana practices is are never assume right knowing that in buddhist practices like it's concepts of concepts and uh yeah and whatever i believe to be true is with a high probability maybe somewhat likely but even gravity right is not a given it's not a constant from a scientific perspective so i felt very very disconnected when i was depressed and what my perspective was was that like i am fundamentally disconnected from the world so whatever i perceived was like i felt a very strong disconnect between whatever this reality was and this out there you know oneness i believe which is it comes through practice some people might be given you know with that and come with it and they just feel like love all the time i did not um don't have really parents in my life or had didn't experience unconditional love and stuff so so it's kind of what me helped was vipassana practices breath work cold exposure to align yourself with the ice kind of to you know to like with the forces of nature and to really relax in that ice and if you see a lot of people who do actually cold exposure they feel a lot of love and feel a lot of interconnectedness and i think like if there's some kind of you know residue of of like oh these are the others fundamentally i'm still trying to work on that right like so how can i obviously i can always be kinder and it's really hard to like run a business and to always you know to, to always be like super kind because there's things that you just have to like you know operationally manage but this kind of like non-duality oneness it's like, so non-duality is another term which is very similar it's like just like believing that there's not fundamentally we're like fundamentally there's like non-dual world in a way right so um and dual things it, that's how things operate but it's also you we can become very uh predictable right like if everything is dual and you have your preferences we can always be like predictable by ai and stuff so how can we actually be our kind of like a true self or like live in live in uh love and care for one another is i think through fundamentally perceiving oneness and believing that you know and knowing at the core really that we are all one and uh kind of comes also with a, a fear of dying in some ways uh and to kind of like you know in in some ways um obviously if there's like existential threat or something but it, it comes with a lot of happiness and uh, i think it comes through practices of like also working on that you know sense of self we might carry or a sense of identity um i i do think like if we identify very strongly maybe I, for me it was always a mystery what does that mean to identify but uh, I, c I think it comes with liberation to be honest like until I, like if i'm fixed to if i would be fixed to a certain identity i'm like this like i'm like you know this is like how i am this is like the whatever association with like masculine or whatever like this is you know like is that really making me happy 
um, I never had that so I, I feel like actually when I see people you know have this very like intense like I am this you know I'm part of this group which is great I think it, it, it's a sense of belonging but I think what I believe I feel what, what it's also what can also be helpful for some of us maybe maybe for a lot of us is like um, finding that belonging in oneness and in that sense of care of care for oneself for one another for the planet and it might sound kitschy but i do believe it's possible and it's definitely possible more through different practices and uh they can definitely help us to get there so yeah i'm gonna continue to ramble about oneness if you're interested and love you all let me know if you have any thoughts on oneness and how you have experiences with depression or transformational practices whatever it is uh, nothing is too speak spooky in a way in talking about oneness